So uh, it's great to see everyone here and so many old friends and old faces which I haven't seen for, uh, for some time. But I um, can't believe this bloke's still here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, my life is rich because I still, I still see uh, Atkins Terrace people really close to me, so that's lovely to see. So many great memories. I remember, um, gosh, what do we remember? Remember David, David Hudson? David Hudson's not here anymore, is he? He is, David. He's here. Yeah. 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 I saw yeah. his dog. Yeah. I couldn't yeah. rouse him. <laughs> so he'll be here 20 years. Yeah. 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 And uh, the two Pats. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and Betty, lovely Betty, who had the um, yeah. beautiful garden. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ron Conn. Um, yeah, Ron, Ron, Ron rang me up one day and he said, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the kids from the, there used to be uh, um, public housing just on the corner, you remember that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, the walk up was yeah, right. yeah. dismantled yeah. now. They, yeah, that's yeah, right, dismantled now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, they're coming in here using our washing machines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, oh. So I said, um, don't tell me your problems, pal, and I hung up. <laughs> he rang me back and he said, don't you ever hang up on me, pal. <laughs> and I said, right, I've given you a house, I've given you washing machines, you leave the gates open, you expect me to repair them? <laughs> hung up again. He didn't speak to me for about three months, but you know what he did that night? He organised a roster to shut the gates. The Russian machine was alive. It's the only way you got to handle it, right? But I'll tell you a funny story um, that no one else here would know, I suppose, but um, some of you knew that I spent a long time in the bush and I was at Jack Roo and Shearer and everything like that. And I came back to Melbourne in 1975 or 6 or 7 or something like that with um, my wife. Uh, with my working dogs, and this used to be the sale yards. Mm -hmm. And I came here with my dogs, and I tried to get a job on the sale yards, and I didn't get a job. And then 30 years later, I built some housing. <laughs> 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 what is the matter? <laughs> anyway, um, welcome everybody. Um, it's, uh, it's fantastic to see us 20 years. I just had someone from Tasmania, we're about to build in Tasmania. And she, um, she's, she's the head, head of the whole department there, and she came here and she was just gobsmacked. How beautiful this was, and how, how friendly, and everybody knew each other, and laughing, and it's just, it just doesn't happen what she is. So, so well done to all you guys. You've created a home. We just built it. You, you created it. And to our staff, who have been so fantastic over so long, um, so proud of all of you, every one of you. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you about Atkins. Does anyone ever anyone know Robert? Yeah. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> you no, remember Robert? Robert was. Uh, Gosh, what a guy he was, wasn't he? Yes, very eccentric. Yeah. Um, used to. You would, you would have cared for him at McLean, wouldn't did. you? I did. Yeah. I did. Um, Robert was very eccentric and um, he had a coffee cup. It was Donald Duck. Yeah. No one was allowed to wash it. And he walked around with a, a, a single point walking stick, but he had a sock over it, remember right. that? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he met one of the other residents, Cheryl, and they fell in love. Oh. And they run off. Yeah. <laughs> and they run away, and they found themselves in the jewellery store in Myers. And they, yeah, he bought her a ring. Oh. Then they went on to, they were found in a motel. Oh, out no, in, oh, can I interrupt you? Because yeah. he was lost, they were lost. That's so right. this is a government-funded aged care facility. So we're 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 terrified the government's going to find us. So we're we've got people out in South Australia because he had a brother there. We've got <coughs> all APB, all point, yeah. bu all bu bu point <laughs> bulletin, yeah. going all around the country to try and find them. They were found in Flemington, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they were found in, Flemington, in a motel, and um, <laughs> and um, so we we found them there. And, and Cheryl said. I want you to know he, I never let him touch me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a relationship built on cigarettes. <laughs> and um, he always sing at, at events like this, so he was our um, resident singer. Yeah. 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 
Fantastic. Yeah. Brian's work's been recognised by uh, a lot of people, the United Nations, and one of them, and, uh, and Jim in, um, before has recognised Brian by putting his poster up uh, next to some great people. Jim, Jim's actually got Nelson Mandela and, uh, and uh, the Dalai Lama and Brian. So you go around to each other's place. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got to charge us some better people. <laughs> Run on a bill, you know. He, 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 is the, he is the closest divide to me. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Uh, Brian is really, you know, I see him all the time, never get tired since I know him. Walking around, you know, <laughs> knocking everybody's door, whether he knocks back or not, he never stops. And I thank him for putting, you know, like uh, giving us dignity and right and option. Those who the government neglect, you know, and forego it. And he say to them still, these people have good right, dignity, option. They are human beings. And I always, you know, admire him for that. And thanks, right? I'm going to take this place to Canberra with me. <laughs> We're very lucky also to have Tom here today. And Tom, Tom was, uh, Tom's uh, really uh, been great and kind to be able to say a few uh, words and some recollections of his uh, time here at uh, Athens Terrace. So thanks so much for um, putting your hand up for that, Tom. Thanks very much, Gary. Yeah, I... Uh, was going to meetings to see whether I could get a place in Winchingham in the city. And in the meantime, uh, the bed sitter that I was living in uh, was being sold and I had to move out pretty quickly. And I let them know when they said, we've got one left at Atkins Terrace. Would you be interested? I said, yes, I would. So I came and had a look, and uh, I came over by train from Flemington, and uh, uh, on the way back home in the train, I had tears in my eyes to sound lovely it was compared to the bed sitter. And uh, I couldn't believe my luck. And uh, I moved in, uh, was helped to move in the following week and uh, it was just such a, a, a wonderful thing for me uh, to have such a lovely place to live. I soon got used to the knocks on Paul's door. When anything went wrong or something was broken, everybody would come and knock on Paul's door. <laughs> <laughs> See what Paul could do about it. <laughs> 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 You're the door that everyone knocks on. Hey? You're the door that everyone knocks on when they need He's creative. You know, he, he, he and know, I was just counting my lucky stars that wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> And that continued for a long time, believe me. <laughs> but it's been a pleasant time. It's a community. I really cherish the years that I've spent here. Yes. I don't recommend I'm leaving. I've put off 20 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> but I have enjoyed every day. Have you every mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> every day at McLean Lodge. I w wouldn't have been there a week and I knew that I'd made the right decision to be there. And it was uh, the facts stand still. And uh, it's been a wonderful thing to be with Rentringham. And uh, <coughs> one of the things that pleases me most is to see what it does for people and I see it every day. People getting supported and helped and uh, looked after. And the, the gardens, uh, Brendan did the gardens and uh, I really love these gardens in the springtime. 
-hmm. And in in the fall, the callas, just the beautiful gardens they are. And to have a backyard this big in this part of town <laughs> is a luxury. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday to you.